with another video. We're back with part two. Thank you so much for being here. This is a jewelry unjarring, jewelry jar unjarring, or um, unboxing. Some people like to call them unboxings. Either way, this is a huge parcel that I received. I purchased this from a subscriber, and we did part one. I will link that that video in um, the end screen of this video, or maybe in a card that comes up as a suggested video. I'll try to link them both together so you can watch part one and part two. And hopefully there won't have to be a part three, but these are big boxes, so we are going to get through them as quickly as we possibly can. Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you like jewelry, if you like thrift hunting, if you like going to garage sales and just treasure hunting in general, I think you'll find something to like here at this channel. So be sure and hit that subscribe button over on the right. It says subscribe. It's always free. It helps me very, very much if you subscribe and share the video as well as hit that thumbs up so you'll never miss another video. All right, we're going to get started as soon as possible. I'm just going to say hi to a couple of people that popped in the chat. And then we'll just continue on with our excavation here. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. Hi, Tanya and Victoria and Linda and Rianne. Hi, Vicki. How are you? I hope you're doing well and staying warm in your new climate, your new digs. And I hope you're happy there. Kathy, Leona, and Robin are here as well. All right. Well, you saw a little glimpse of this last night. Remember I told you how much I love these watches. They remind me of one that I had that my mother bought me, but mine is a wind-up and it still is in my collection. I love watches. and uh, But this is actually a Gloria Vanderbilt and it's a quartz. So I'm definitely going to look for a battery for this one. Let me get a little closer to you guys. I'm going to look for a battery for this one. looks like it was never worn. I mean, look at that. But Gloria Vanderbilt, I don't think she's been in the, and look, it's even squared off. I don't think she's been in the stores in a long time. I don't know what she's doing now. Isn't she? Didn't she pass? May she rest in peace. I think she passed. But I could be mistaken. But I remember her fashions were all the rage a few years ago. And uh, that's a gorgeous watch. I absolutely love it. And I was talking to you about how much I want to start wearing watches every single day. Just to hold me accountable and to remind me how precious time is. And for me not to waste it. What in the world do I leave down there? There's a little jewel down there. All right, here was a little baggie with some little incidentals. Let's see what is in here. Oh, again, this is kind of a crafter. Interesting, though. This is actually marked. It's got some very interesting filigree work on it as well. Let's see if I can lower the slide a little bit. Nope, I cannot. Okay. Let me see what this says. This says... It says Germany, German, no, it's, it's got, it, yeah, I think it says in Germany or something, because you can see the little remnants of the word Germany there, and I think it probably had maybe a cameo or something on it, I don't know, look at that pretty filigree work though, isn't that interesting, and then we have a little, aw, oh, bowler, we have ourselves a little bowler here. A little charm bracelet. Okay, I hope I don't drop my camera. Okay, there we go. That's interesting too. These are so cute. Oh, a kitty cat charm. Look at him. He's actually chasing a mouse. That's cute. And then we have a snowman. Oh, I think I have this one. He's so cute. I have one very similar. The little pearl pin back thing. Oh, look at this. Little opal. That's probably a real opal. Didn't we just find a real opal the other day? In the costume jewelry, they do that a lot. This is a little twist bat snowflake. That's pretty. Hey Jude, how are you? Look at the little angel here. These are probably mostly Avon. As you can see from the last video, there was a lot of Avon in there. And oh, I used to have one of these. You carry these in your purse, your coin bag. 
Nice little token there of an angel. There's several. Aw, that's sweet. Look at that. Five. Five of them. Nice. And, oh, is this this? Oh, I love these with the stamps. I am a wannabe, whatever it's called, to be a... Uh, this is a doll to be a stamp collector. And every time I see these, I love them. I feel like I should have collected stamps. The only stamps that I have are when I find those old books, you know, that people would give their children to collect stamps. I find those a lot. And I do buy stamps occasionally. I have some Harry Potter, some Elvis. Which ones did I get not too long ago? I think I got the military dogs or the service dog ones. I still like them, but I basically just stick them in my purse. I need to preserve them correctly. That's a cute one. Oh, here's a nice heavy little pendant. It's a puffy heart. I don't see any mark on it, but that's a nice one. And then this one we got in a box as well the other night from Avon. We had one that was right in the box. That's nice. What does this say? It's a little charm bracelet. Hey, Doug, how are you? Let me see what it says. It says Bronson. It's got a B and it's got three big fat rubies. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Oh, that alarm always goes off on me. Yeah, that reminds me of the time all the time. I don't know. They could be Ruby's Bronson. There's probably a company that actually does look like uh, either gold filled. It's got an old English B on top of that. Could that be someone's name? You'll have to tell us because it was a subscriber who sold me this fabulous box that is probably going to take me three days. If this thing goes over an hour, I'll do part three tomorrow. Or the day after. Oh my gosh, these are precious. Snowman earrings. Look at that. Are they glass? I think they're... Guys, these are glass beads. Look. They even have little ridges like real glass. Those are super cute. Hey, Kathleen. I'm glad you're here. Thanks so much. I actually have one of these. But mine is the acorn. I mean, the... Yeah, the little acorn. This is like a little tree with a star on it. It is a Christmas tree. It's got a star. It's got little bulbs or little ornaments. That is precious. That's a really nice one. Another angel. This one looks like it's missing. Oh, this is a lucky shamrock here. It's missing a little, that may be easy to replace though, because that's like a little diamond colored one. The green, the colored ones are always harder to match. That is so cute. A little lucky angel charm there. And then this one says, what? My garden. That's cute. It appears like a lot of vintage jewelry in here, guys, as my uh, subscriber Deb was describing yes well the date was it yesterday no the day before when we opened the first part she said this jewelry was her mother's and her grandmother's oh what a pretty earring let me see what this one says looks like a little garnet or something in there or maybe it's just a imitation but it's a nice one maybe a single one though and this one says um, Lind L I N D And it says heavy gold filled or HGF, 24 karat HGF. So I guess it's some kind of electroplating or something on that. That's pretty. Okay, another flag. Oh, this is a pretty one. USO. A little USO flag on here. And we have a ribbon. We have some jump rings and things for crafting. A little heart. And this has a little mother of pearl in it. A little tie bar, I guess. Has, what does it say, swank? They're usually swank. Yeah, it is. That's what it says, swank. And it is a real mother of pearl there. That's cute. We have a smiling face angel. That looks like the original smiling face. It doesn't look like the emojis of today. 
but I could be wrong. Oh, we also have a barrel clasp here. Okay, let's get to the bag. The bags and boxes. And what do we have here? These are all acrylic beads. Yellow, really pretty. A couple of shades of yellow. Could be a homemade piece. Really cute. Nice bright colors. Hi, Teresa. Thanks for joining us. Oh, look at that. You know, I think I bought one like this not too long ago. They're from Made in the Philippines. They have some inlay work. I don't know if they're um, imitation turquoise or what. These are interesting. Yeah, and sometimes they have like, a, this is real mother of pearl. Uh, it could be turquoise or an imitation inlaid in there with some epoxy or something. And I think they even draw something on it because I got one not too long ago. But mine look more like, a, you know, the birds, the Zuni birds or something. That's cute. I don't know if it's faded away or what. It says made in the Philippines. Let me know if you've ever seen anything like this. It's very textural. That's definitely mother of pearl. And I think it was etched. I think it was etched with some kind of flower or some other kind of design. That's cute. Thanks again for being here, guys. Be sure and hit that thumbs up on your way in or out. This is Gilmore's. Never heard of that store. Do you guys have a Gilmore's near you? Oh, it's got a P. How pretty. I remember seeing these. That is so pretty. That is super cute. Very heavy. It's got an etched initial there. That is nice. Nice chain. Looks like it could be gold filled or something. It's got a nice color. And it's definitely vintage. I remember seeing this style in the stores. I don't see a mark on it, but it's cute. And nice to have a box, too. That's always interesting. People really like it when you can show the boxes. Bronson is a hospital in Kalamazoo. Your mom retired. We had some others, and I had a jeweler turn it into a beautiful earrings oh how fabulous thank you for letting me know deb this is cute i've had one of these before best grandma i think the one i had said get well soon or something these are so cute boyd's bears and friends bears and hairs collection of wearable bears hairs and friends from your buddies at boyd's collection you can t how cute is that That is so, so cute. Anybody out there still have a grandma? Be sure and give her a big hug. I sure miss mine. Okay, here's a nice one. This looks like a, kind of like a denim lapis color. Very nice. Don't believe it's denim lapis, but it is really pretty. They feel like wood, actually. And it's a little fashion piece. Very cute. So it's just a lot of dangles. That's pretty. Hearts and kind of a Kind of a patinaed look or something. That's cute. It's got a little southwest flair to it, I think. I love all these bags. I am using the bags as well. Oh, we got this one in red the other day, I think. Very nicely made. No, I think this one's bigger. Yeah, the red was just one strand. This is this is two or three. Oh, this is pretty. And this one has a hook. Clasp, obviously vintage. Oh, these are so nice. I like to wear these kind of 
not really so uniform. I'll just kind of put one over the other like that. That's really crisp. Again, doesn't even look like it was worn. That is beautiful. Little gold accent beads as well. Oh, thanks for being here, designers and doers. I appreciate it. I needed this distraction too. I think we all do. I really, I was good, trying to get here last night, guys, but my last breath was taken just walking into my bedroom and hitting the sack at 1230, <laughs> trying to get shipping out and everything. So, oh, this is another thing I saw that I was like, oh, I collect these, need those always. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you my rings. This is my Brutalist James Avery and 14 Carat. This is the two rings that came in the, the little lot from yesterday from Miss Deb. Aren't those gorgeous? Those two were the ones we unboxed yesterday or day before. I love them, especially this one. It looks so nice. And then I have my little wraparound rings. This is a beautiful, I think this is uh, chromium diopside with, I believe she said that was white topaz. And I love that. I got that from Roberta. All right, so I love these. Look at that. Don't we all need that? I have a collection of these and I can't stop buying them when I see them. So this is definitely one I saw Miss Deb that I was, oh yes, I got to have me another one of those. Because, you know, five is not enough. <laughs> this one, my gosh, it's actually, I think, acrylic. So it's not heavy and there is no wear on this. And I think one of the ones I have with an eagle on it, I believe it's from Avon as well. I don't know if this is from Avon, but um, there was a lot of stuff from Avon. I don't see a mark on it. So cute. Oh, I love those little eyeglass piece things, whatever they're called. Yes, exactly, Miss Carrie. Thanks for being here. It's just five is not enough, right? And I hunt them down sometimes. I'll get in this mood and I'll go on, on eBay or wherever and look for more or whatever it is that I feel like looking for. This one is a silver tone chain. I think it's Napier. No, Monet. This is Monet. It's got a couple of kinks. I think I can just twist that back out. It's probably just from being in the packaging like that. And I, But other than that, maybe it looks like it got a replacement here. But what a nice chain. Nice color still on it. Usually these kinks can just be twisted out. I've even had to do them very gently with 14K. But they do come out usually. All right, this one says Mom. Oh my gosh, look at these pretty rings. Is that a bypass ring? Oh my gosh. These are, no, it's not. It almost looked like a little bypass ring. That is so, so sweet. Oh, that has blue, purple, Kind of like three shades of blue it's got like a tanzanite blue a navy blue a topaz blue a little purpley and a peridot oh wow that's cute that's a beautiful ring wow mother's rings yeah i think this one is um sarah this is a sarah sarah used to do some cute look how it doesn't even look like a mother's ring though it's hallmarked simply sarah I mean, with one word, Sarah, we found, what was it, an anklet the other night? And it just said Coventry. That's not, that's a beautiful ring. It's a little big on my ring finger. I have to find another finger to wear it. But I will wear it because it's beautiful. I love gold tone. Here's another pretty one. These are probably all Sarah's or something. Oh, this one's cute, too. Oh, that'll make a nice knuckle ring there. Look how cute that one is. What's a mother's ring? Mother's rings were kind of a, a tradition where you would get your children's birthstones set in jewelry. There's no mark on this one at all. This one is so cute. Can I make a nice pink earring too. So you'd get all your children's birthstones on a piece of jewelry for you. Usually a ring, but then they started making necklaces and all kinds of things as well. Here are two beautiful pearl rings. Also, um... Oh, they're made so nice. They really are. Let me see if there's any marks on these. They appear to be silver tone, black and white. And they I think they're actually the same ring. But, you know, sometimes you can't make up your mind, so you can get both. I know I do that a lot. 
silver tone, no mark on them at all. They're so pretty, though. They look like something Sarah Coventry would make uh, or Avon, but they usually look, they look nice together, don't they? Those are so pretty. I like those. Okay. Let's look in this bag now. What a pretty color. Those are cute. Oh, I like the button earrings. This is the shiniest material I've ever seen. I think that's like a lacquered wood. Those are nice. I don't think they have a maker, but let me double check. No, I don't see anything on the earrings. That is pretty. That almost looks like the color of cinnabar, that kind of ox blood, I think they call it. Really nice. Graduated beads, no mark on anything. But that's a beautiful set. That is really pretty. I like that a lot. All right, let's see what's in this box. Chips. Clips. Oh, there's a oh, look at that. Mother of Pearl and Genuine Indian Handmade Sterling Silver. So you know that's vintage. That's gorgeous. They're clips. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, look at those teeny little clips. Those are sweet. I almost don't even want to take them off of here. I just like looking at them right there where they are. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Clips working fine. Nice patina on the silver back there. Those are a quarter of an inch, I would say. <laughs> With inlay mother of pearl and turquoise. How pretty. And I don't believe they're marked. I don't see a um, purity mark. And that's pretty common with vintage, genuine Indian handmade sterling silver. <laughs> How beautiful. Oh my gosh, Miss Deb. I am just so amazed at this collection. Okay, let's see what else pops out of this bag here. We had a Mickey Mouse wristwatch. Well, that's what we need in our lives. I found some really nice Mickey Mouse watches these last days. Wow, that one's cute. That's a nice band, too. If it was wind-up, it would be my dream watch. <laughs> But anything, oh, it's got a split. So this is what they call bonded leather, where they put like real leather and then an imitation. But it doesn't matter, that can be fixed or it can be put on another band. But wow, with original packaging, is this, let me see. I think it says quartz, it says international special edition. How nice to have the packaging, too, y'all. That is so cute. No, it's a quartz. Nice. That is amazing. I love that. Still got the little literature in it, too. Wow. That's neat. What is that? The instructions? How to change the instructions for your analog watch. Nice. Okay, let's see what else is in here. What do y'all like so far, guys? Which one is your favorite so far? <laughs> uh, it's going to be hard for me to choose. Probably those those earrings that we just passed up. I really like those. These Napier. Definitely vintage as well. Those look like, oh, they're enamel. I was thinking they looked a little ceramic. Those are interesting. My rings. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, these are both kind of similar with this enameling. This just says fashion earrings. These are actually a lot lighter 
They seem to be easier to wear because they are very light. They have the same kind of design. You like the pearl rings? I like the mother ring too, or it, you know, whatever that was. It was so cute. The design was really different. I never did get a mother's ring because I never really liked the designs, but that one's really nice. Oh, look at this. I don't know what they call these other than, um, what did Jude say once? Moon glow cat eye? But these are nice. And then look at these. And I think we found some the other day with this kind of bead too. They almost, oh, this is like, I guess Mille Flori, would you say? Mille Fiori? I don't know. The little long ones? The very first pennant with the black stone is the one you liked? That was nice too. This is beautiful. This is a short one too. It needs a hook though. So we'll have to try to get an original hook hook, maybe a couple of links on a chain there. And that is just super cute. These beads are different. Really, really nice. I like that. I love this blue. It's one of my favorites. All right, now we have some vintage pearls and multi-strand as well. I think this is five strands. That's pretty. It's a nice color, nice color and um, textures, sizes as well, varied or textures and sizes here. Very nice. Hi, Sanja. You like that moon glow? Isn't that beautiful? That is super different. I love I love the vintage beads you find on these um on these old pieces. This has never been opened, guys. Or does it seal? It says 14 karat gold tone. That's interesting that they use the term 14 karat, right? Wow, this has never been opened. I almost don't want to open it. But I will, because you can't see it in the plastic. Because I've never really seen that. I've seen gold plating, electroplated, all that stuff. But this is 14 karat gold tone. Yeah, it's still in the little bag in the back. So pretty. Hey, Tracy. How is your evening going tonight? I hope you're doing well. It's about to get really chilly up here in Texas. Down here in Texas, rather. <laughs> We're going into the 30s and 40s this week. Okay, I do, this is really pretty, though. It's got a very nice curb chain, very heavy. And it is a faux pearl. That's pretty. A little heart with a pearl. I thought I saw a mark on it on the little bar, but now that I look at it again, I see nothing. Very nice, though. I really like that. And I love that curb chain. Hot in Washington. <clears throat> you're, in, you're in Australia. How is it in Australia? We got a whole bunch of rain, though, today. I couldn't even w drive home. That is cold for Texas. It was 38 in Michigan. Yeah, it's cold for us. We'll pull out the parkas tomorrow. And I've been wearing the Ugg boots all week, and it's only been in the 50s. <laughs> I love this, too, y'all. This is nice. And these are all acrylic. Isn't it interesting how... The acrylic beads have such shine sometimes. They facet them so well. And I guess they put a little AB coating on them and everything. That is cool. It's raining. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we don't discuss that. <laughs> we, we, got, we got enough of that in the... I didn't even know until someone walked in and said something. And Yeah. And I'm, like, oh. I'm just going to forget about that stuff because 
There's nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. All right, lots of boxes in this one, guys. Look, I've already taken out. There's this, but this thing's still full, and I've already taken out several boxes. Stretch necklaces are good only when your hands or fingers can't do clasp. Well, that's true. The stretch ones. I don't know why you would want a stretch necklace, though, as long as it's big enough to fit over your neck. Fine jewelry by Seta. Okay. So we have some really nice rings. I guess these are mason or something. These are so nice looking. And they appear to be gold tone they're very nice though this one's i guess is the is that the initial m or the initial k it's really nice and they both came in here in their original packaging very interesting rings. Aren't they huge? They're men's, I guess. I think that's, it does look like a K. How are you, Mike? Doesn't that look like a K? Do you think it could be Knights of Columbus and um, Masons? I'm not sure. But that's a G. And I thought that looked like a K, but it looks like an M, too. I can't quite tell. Definitely just some kind of a commemorative or something. Mason. Looks like an N to you, Miss Carrie. Okay, here we go. Calorie Manager Bracelet. Interesting. From Avon. This is a beautiful bracelet. It's like on a on a cord, almost like a Pandora. Calorie manager. What do you do? Count the beads? I guess you could pray too. That's so interesting. <laughs> and look, these have like little rhinestones on them. That is so cool. I guess you move them down and you keep track of what you ate. Look at this cute little dingle with rhinestones. Have you seen anything like that, like an abacus, right? I'll have to read the instructions. Right there. Pray to lose weight. That's it. So many different beads around. This is original packaging here. Angel Mary. Oh. Angel. Angel Mary Avril. That's beautiful. Gosh, this was never used either. This is in pristine, like new condition. That is so sweet. Wow. It's pretty packaging too. Okay. Let's see what's in here. 80 people are here. Awesome. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed any of the content today. These are cute. They're little posts. No, they're clip. Oh my gosh, they're teeny tiny. That is sweet. I have never seen such small clip-ons. That is neat. Okay. And they're like little rhinestone encrusted style. Very nice. Calorie counter bracelet again. So you can have a partner. <laughs> this is so heavy. And look at those little rhinestones. That's almost prettier than the some of the Pandoras I've seen. No hate to Pandora, but... That's a nice looking bracelet. Another ring. Big old ring. My husband would wear this. <laughs> oh 
my gosh, that is so cool. It is big. There, it looks like there may be a stone missing in the corner, yeah. That is so cool, though. I can't tell what it is. Is it a... I, oh, it's is that like an Egyptian symbol? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> hey, Sue for Tom, Sue Thomas, how are you? And another. Oh, this one came in a pouch. How sweet is this little pouch? Oh my gosh, the packaging is so important. Oh, this is cute. Look at that pearl. Can you see that little tiny pearl? That is darling. On a disc. Let me check the mark on this. See if it has any marks. Je oh, good. I'm glad you're doing well. This is silver tone as well. This is so, so cute. That is a genuine pearl. That's a beautiful disc. And this one's marked back here. Maybe it's marked Avon. Avon marks everything. Now this one says 925RJ. That's interesting. RJ. Maybe they just used the chain. Because I would think that Avon would mark the pendant too. So, well, the chain's not marked at all. Maybe they just put it in there. So that's nice. Sterling silver with a genuine pearl. I love that. That's really different. Not to mention that cute pouch. Love that. Okay, I think we may just get through to the other side. The other one. We don't have to make two videos after all. We're going to try to keep it under an hour. And so far we're at 36 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and break into this one. And this is a big bag of boxes, too. How exciting. You have Premier. Oh, you're welcome. And for Premier Designs, lock it. It's heavy. It's got the instructions for care there. Wow, that's pretty. It's like mother of pearl. It's very heavy. It's magnetic. And it's got like a box chain. Now, I know Premier did sterling, but very rarely. So this is a super nice silver tone locket, like new, in a box. But this is definitely vintage. And that's definitely mother of pearl, and but it's on the yellow side. Hmm, so nice. That's a really pretty box chain too, nice and thick. I believe it's silver tone. I'm gonna read those care instructions. Keep it clean like that. That's beautiful. Dumpling. Hmm. Wow. And, oh, look at this. This is genuine coral. This was a very common design to use coral and pearls. And this one still has the price, $25. Pin roses. It's even got a little diamond. I'll bet that's a real diamond. We can test it. <laughs> I don't know if I can get that pin in here, but I have my diamond tester. I'll report back. Definitely pearls, definitely angel skin coral. That is an amazing piece. Still tagged. Wow. It's called a fan. Look at that beautiful angel skin coral. I hope you can see that. I'm sure that's a little diamond. That is so pretty. I love this. I have had a few of these types of what was considered definitely costume jewelry in the 70s and 80s. And often there's opals, diamonds, 
jade and that angel skin floral. So pretty with pearls. They look like tulips. Yes. But the design said, um, I guess the design was called fan. Look, a little cat. It looks like a JJ. I think this is actually an, a pendant or maybe it attached to a brooch. Very interesting. And it, it is marked JJ, I believe, in the back. Yeah, it is. And I rarely see JJ in the gold tone. This is like new, guys. Incredible. Incredible. I'm just over the moon about this. This is really, really cool. Oh, these are pretty. I think these are like uh, awareness ribbons. Yes, and they're clip-on earrings into a heart. Those are sweet. Look at that design. Into a little heart and a rose as well. With an awareness, breast cancer awareness ribbon. Wow, those are beautiful. That sweet pink color is nice. Alright, let's see what's in here. This is an Avon box. This is a nice one. It has the probably the estate sale. And does that say Monet or Avon? I think it says Avon. Let me make sure. Yes. This is so pretty. I love this. So shiny. I mean new. Guys, this is new. <gasps> they have a worn. Look at that beautiful silver tone. Look at that. That is just so beautiful. I love jewelry that picks up the light like that. With the bar, of course. And it feels so nice. This is just made so nicely. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Let me put this one back. And we'll go back to looking at this close up. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you can tell it was never, ever worn. Look at this beautiful box. Can't wait to see what's in this thing. Is like five inches, four inches long. Let's see what we have in here. We have, oh, these are interchangeable. I saw this in the picture that she sent me. So you have like an Omega chain that is pristine. And I think it's silver tone. It's all Premier. This is so cool. And then you can interchange your colors. But not only colors, but they have Moon Glow Green. Cat eyes. Brown, I mean blue. These are still in the packages. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All of these can be slid in here, I guess, somehow. There you go. And then you slide it onto your Omega. Wow. I'll bet this was a pretty penny, even at silver tone. Because Premier really does beautiful work. They did. I don't think they're in business anymore. Amazing. And then you slide that. Th and now we know exactly how a, an Omega looks when it's used the right way. Look at that. Wow. I may have put that backwards. It might be, it might go the other way. But look at the rest of these. This is like a lapis color. This one's not even opened yet. But it looks like a lapis. Let me slide it out of here. It's just like the color of lapis. It's not real lapis. But so pretty. And then another moon glow in white. Look how these are. See, well, these are man-made usually. The moon glows. The moon glow cat eyes, unless they're Christopher Fraser or something. Here's one that looks like an amber. Wow. And then here's one that, that's supposed to be like a turquoise. And I swear this never saw the light of day. It's still sealed. This one's still sealed with the imitation turquoise. 
Oh my gosh. And of course, black onyx is in here too. Again, these are just... Oh no, this is more like um, obsidian. <laughs> Oh, obsidian. Oh, wow. Or a black moon glow cat eye. Amazing. What a beautiful piece. How fun is that? These Omegas are so nice. We've never seen an Omega quite so shiny as this silver tone. Love that. Oh, my goodness. And this is why it's still preserved after, what, probably 20 years, 30 years? because everything was in packages and we're supposed to do that with our jewelry but do we how many of y'all actually i know a girl that i watch on youtube but um, she's not really about jewelry she's about organization and, and housekeeping and things like that and she always does purges she's always cleaning her closet and cleaning her jewelry out and giving it away donating and whatnot and she had every single piece of her jewelry in little bags. I was like, oh my gosh, I can only dream of one day being that organized. Everything was in little bags. And and most of her stuff was fine jewelry or, you know, at least Pandora and things like that. And even costume, but everything was packaged. And that's why I guess it stays so nice. I need to pick up that habit. <laughs> this one says... Cremants, Bonfrey, Bonfi Jewelers. Oh my gosh, look at those opals, guys. Those are genuine opals. Clip-ons too, or twist. Look at the twist back. Oh, that is so precious. That is so pretty. I like to get a lot of these things just to study them. Honestly, I buy a lot of things just in American tradition. Look at all the literature on it. Gold overlay. It explains the process of the gold, the gold overlay, how they put the sterling and then the two pieces of sandwich. Remember, I've referred to it as sandwiched. And this is also what is gold filled as well. That's awesome literature and knowledge right there. Worth the price of admission right there just for the knowledge. Not to mention these beautiful earrings are just amazing. Yes, it is. And you don't see it very often. You don't run into it very often. Honestly, I mean, I've run into maybe three Haskell pieces in my life. I have one still left. I sold a couple of them. And and Kremitz is another one that, I mean, I see once in a great moon. Here's a pretty little bow. Yes, absolutely. This is a beautiful brooch. It looks like it has a little signature here. P P D or double D or I can't quite tell, but this is a beautiful pink ribbon brooch. I like that. Cremant sells all of mine is sold. Really? Yeah, and especially when they come out with things like opals and and that angel skin. I think that's what I had at Kermit's Jade and Coral brooch or something. But I, I don't, and I love these. Oh my gosh. I actually hunt eBay for these old packages. Even empty, I've paid good money for old jewelry packaging. I just love it so much. All right. I think we, let me cover this little box and see what's here. You only have one pair of Haskell earrings. Hardly ever seen it around. Yeah, that's what I sold. I sold some beautiful earrings at my auction that were Haskell. And I think I had a brooch that I sold on eBay years ago. And I still have a necklace that's amazing. And I don't even want to fix it. I want to fix it enough to wear it. Look how pretty this is. But I want it to remain intact because it has one of those old clasps that slide in and pinch and whatnot. Look at this beautiful bracelet, guys. It's tiny. It is so pretty. It almost, I think it looks like Black Hills, don't you think? It was in this beautiful box, velvet lining. You do have a Miriam Haskell necklace. Oh, how fabulous. That is a really nice bracelet. Oh my gosh, it doesn't say anything on it. 
Let me see if I see any mark or make on it. Here we go. Spydale Hong Kong is the is the band, and it looks like a watch band for sure. I see a mark on the inside, guys. It looks like an S. And I'll show it to you up close so you can help me decipher it. I don't believe that's a diamond from my estimation. And it does look like a, probably an overlay or something. I love this. I just got a beautiful watch. from. Well, this watch came in the box in case you missed it. This is a Gloria Vanderbilt. And again, pristine. But I got a vintage watch from um, Cindy Lowe's Jewelry. And uh, I'm glad I got an extender, actually. This actually fits. I got an extender thing. Someone told me those two magnets were for extending bracelets. So I'm going to probably have to extend that watch from uh, Miss Cindy. It's an Elgin, an old Elgin watch, but I loved it. And it was running. It was a wind-up. Isn't that beautiful? You gave away your brooch, Miss Vicky. Oh, my gosh. I also had some very modern, they were called, they were from Miriam Haskell as well, but they were some of her later pieces, I guess, from her company. And they're actually signed, and the, and the card said M. Haskell. Yeah. Oh, look at this watch. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's a heart. It's a, what is it? Standard of the world. It's a Cadillac right there. Isn't that the Cadillac symbol, y'all? Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful box. It's a heavy box. Let me see what the, it's a Geneva. It's so cute, Hong Kong. It's got some rhinestones, and it. Uh, let me see, I can move it. It's a wind up, bingo, 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 bingo. I adore the wind up watches. This is gonna go home. This is gonna go to work tomorrow with me. Look how precious. Now I have found these in gold. I have found them in gold plated, solid gold, and I adore these mid-century faces. <laughs> this is so cute, guys. Did y'all hear the wind up? Let me let me show you. Oh, the beautiful sound of a wind up. And it's ticking. It is ticking. Oh my gosh, what a what a beautiful watch. I love it. Yes, they are. They are. As long as you take care of them, they take care of you. Look at this hematite, semi-precious stone. I love having things like this as well. Again, just for the education, they're coming out with so many imitations. I don't care what anybody says. There is no imitation for a genuine stone. You can make it in the lab all day long. So not the same thing. And they are even imitating hematite these days. This actually looks like a sterling finding to me. Look how precious. That is coral in there. And he, I've never seen it combined like that. Have you guys seen it combined like that? With coral. and That, that really makes a nice one. I don't see anything right now. I'm just saying because of this patina on this finding, this one's actually copper. The little clips are copper. This kind of looked like it was a, uh, a sterling finding, but it doesn't matter. Look at that beautiful hematite. And this is hematite and coral and pearls. You've seen black pearls, not hematite. And the thing is, okay, the pearls are not real. The coral is. And the hematite is. Um, to me, hematite looks like a black pearl. I have a beautiful solitaire I showed once, I think in the beginning of a video, and it just looks like a black pearl. That is so pretty. Very nice. Yeah. I'm biting it. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, guys, that's th that's it. Miss Deb, I cannot thank you enough for offering me such a wonderful, wonderful array of gems and jewelry and 
I just, I mean, I am just absolutely speechless. So many beautiful things in here to keep and share and find new homes for. So many things that I'm going to absolutely treasure. And I know it's hard when you have to clear out estates and look through your loved one's things. So I really do appreciate that you considered me at all. And um, I sure hope that uh, whatever this brought you is is working for you and that you continue to, you know, honor your mother by actually preserving her things, your mother and your grandmother and preserving these things and not just letting them find their way where they're not appreciated. Because I guarantee you, I appreciate them. And if I sell these or give these, I've done so to people who are collectors and who love and appreciate this type of thing. So I can't thank you enough, Miss Deb. I so appreciate everyone who is here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching the other video. Be sure and give them the thumbs up. Be sure and share them wherever you can in your social medias that you frequent. So have a wonderful rest of your week, guys. We are halfway done with it. Enjoy it and um, stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.